too. All right, y'all. Y'all already know we back. Y'all miss us. We y'all miss us. We miss y'all. Well, y'all already know this is season two. We are what revamped, refreshed, and well rested. So welcome back to a new season with us. We all look who we got in the building today. <laughs> hey, hey, Julia. Hey. <laughs> Alright, so we about to get this show on the road. Yes, yes. So we are on, um, we're on season two, as Tony said, and this is episode one. This is our first episode within the season. And the topic is, what is that topic? <laughs> Eyes wide open. Eyes wide open is the uh, the topic, and it's surrounding the Kobe Bryant uh, tragic you issue. Hit play on that. You can hit record. No. Sorry, y'all. Little technical difficulties. We getting it together though. And as y'all see, we have a new environment. Yeah, with the app right there. <laughs> yeah. is eyes wide open and this is inspired by the Kobe Bryant and yeah. others tragedy. Yeah. So y'all already know we pretty much have a purpose of us. Yeah. Down. She wanted me to say all of the others. <laughs> of the others. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely surrounded by the death of Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and the other uh, uh, passengers that was on the helicopter today. Um, you know, I was watching something on Breakfast Club, to be honest with y'all, and it was a question that uh, Charlamagne had asked T.D. Jakes, and he was pretty much like, this can't be like the plan of God, like, come on, man, like, the have death happen, like, so sudden, like, come on, I don't know why people ask questions like that, like, we ain't go, like, we born to die, but anyway, it came based upon that question, and I thought that T.D. Jakes had, um, an excellent response, to be honest, and he was like, what we do is we get into trying to understand why things happen versus just kind of embracing it. It's okay to mourn. It's okay to be mad. It's okay to be sad. You know, and it may feel a little unfair because life continues. But at the end of the day, if we stop trying to figure out why things are and just embrace what they are, then, you know, we'll be let off. <laughs> Y'all know that direct object Direct <laughs> Get them keys off the table <laughs> Alright so yeah Pretty much that is the purpose of this conversation And I think it's fair You know for people to kind of um, You know question Question certain things um, Especially with this tragedy You know you would think Okay God This man is uh, a well known Person He's wealthy you know, um, he's uh, an inspiration to others. Mm -hmm. um, you know, why? You know, why did this happen? Yeah. You know what I'm saying to him? So I, I'm sure like even some believers, you know, have questioned God as to why. And I would think that it's, you know, normal to question God because you would not think that that's part of the plan. Yeah. But like you said, you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to figure it out. That's got to go through the grieving process. Yes. All the stages. Mm -hmm. And that is part of the stages is asking, you know, mm -hmm. why did this happen? Why as far as to what? I mean, I guess we know that there ain't too many uh, Bible scholars out there or or maybe there are. I mean, because it's a time for everything. It's a time to, it's a time to live. It's a time and to I die. And I just, you know, harp on Kobe Bryant because I don't want it to just be about, you know. What are you talking about? I'm just talking about general, 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 yeah. people asking the question about why this uh, because it's just other people that was on, you know, board. Because we don't want to just, you know, kind of single him out, you know. Um, that's why I was bringing that back. That's why we say it. Kobe Bryant, daughter in death. The other people, members on the plane. Go ahead. Oh, hey, y'all. Hey, viewers. 
Look, we be involved in that conversation. We be, <laughs> we be ready. But okay, Tasha, they got some comments. We do have some okay. comments, ladies. Um, we do. Um, little Scotty says, "Yo, oh, hey, hello, son. beautiful ladies." Hey, hello. <laughs> Rip Kobe again from Little Scotty and and his wonderful daughter. All came from Lil Scotty. Yeah. Also, Carl says, hi, Carl. Hey, Carl. Glad to see well, you. We back. Beautiful ladies <laughs> back on it. Y'all new series. Uh, Jennifer Blaine says, the Kobe factor. Uh, Jennifer Blaine also says, God is not a respect of persons. Mm-hmm. And he's, Lil Scotty come back and said, who is the shy one? Who is the who? The shy one. Oh. <laughs> Girl, I'm too through. That's, uh... <laughs> You want to watch? Girl, it's so funny. Yeah, go to the movie. She's a guest host, and her name is Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, 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 God is not a respect of persons. Oh, absolutely. Um, it goes back to what I was just saying. Like, we are born to die. It's the time for everything. So, to ask the question why, I think is a little unnecessary. I mean, maybe you can ask why Why did it happen that way? You said, I gotta move the file. It's you said, um, her face. You said we're not supposed to ask why? Mm-mm. I think it's part of the anger stage. You just, you don't understand it. So trying to get the concept why they ask. So out here from the audience, we don't know him. We just know what we see. So I feel like what we need to ask why for. Are you talking about you just, just from this particular, from that that's... particular mm-hmm. instance? Did you, did you ask why when you had a loved one that passed away? Mm-hmm. Why? Because I wasn't supposed to. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean... And who said you wasn't, I'm trying to understand, like, you said you weren't, you wasn't supposed to. Who said you wasn't supposed well, to? Well, we need to question God for, I don't question nothing. That's good. There was a reason for it. Mm-hmm. Don't mean I was supposed to know what the reason for it was, so I didn't ask. So you more or less embrace it. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. That's good. Gotcha. I mean, because I mean, you really I can't change the truth. You, you can't. You can't, can't change But I mean, it's just that. a natural reaction in most cases to go ahead and you know what I'm saying? Be like, why though? Because it'd be so painful at that moment. You know what I'm saying? It, you just, you know, throw that up in the air as to, you know, why? I don't know necessarily. Are you just questioning God as to why are you just, you know what I'm saying? Saying why did this happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, because you know that this person is gone, won't never be returning again, and you want that person there. So you're now questioning the fact of why did this take place? The people who ask why are people who who want answers. They like to ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, because why you yeah. have to know why yeah. all yeah. the time? That's just like the little kid when they tell ask you, you where know. babies come from, and then you answer. They go why, and then you hey. give them answer. They why? You, you why you gotta know? Yeah, I think it is. I think a lot. I think that has a lot. Of, well, a lot of people want to know why, and, and, and I be answering like why did why? Well, it goes back to what I just said because you can't really change the turn. You can't really change the event that already happened so why does the why even really matter for me i can't speak for nobody else the why don't even really matter because it's not gonna go away it it is so i just i've learned to embrace it i didn't always have um i didn't necessarily always had the words to put like embrace it but you know now it has come to me embrace it other than that i just learned to live now i may believe that it's unfair you know because like when my sister passed away i was like man this is I just remember just leaving the hospital and I was like, this is messed up. Like, I, we got to go to work tomorrow. Like, and life just continues. Oh my God, I was, I, ooh, I was just so mad. I was so mad. <laughs> I was so we, mad. We had a conversation about that. Yeah. My grandfather, we had a conversation with my grandfather. He tell you how you shorten your years on this earth. So that's another reason I don't ask why. Everybody ain't living right. So you Whatever believe that, that you can shorten your years? I do believe you can shorten your years. Because I, I had asked that too. 
I was like, because people say, you know, was this the plan of God or did he go before his time? Because people quick to be like, mm -hmm. oh, they died mm -hmm. too young or they was taken too soon or they died before and their time. And that's kind of what they're saying, they're saying about his, you know, his daughter and some of the other younger ones. You know, they clear, they're clear, they clearly saying that they were so young. They died before their, you know, their time. And they were like 14, 13. 13, 13 I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, definitely. And with, with that being said, um... Where they come from? They die before their time. What is the time? I don't. Me personally, I don't think. I think it's all a part of God's plan. There's no time. So then, why ask the question? Why? why? Exactly. If it's a part of His plan. Maybe I don't believe that. Yeah. But that's what she believes. I'm talking. No, so I don't believe. I'm saying it was a it's, it's a natural reaction that people do, do that, and not necessarily so are there not as, necessarily not right. People. Me, I'm just saying in general. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it's you know just a natural reaction for a person to say why. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And question, and they they want to answer, or they may not want to answer. They just may want to say you know why. You know what I'm saying? Because they're hurting at mm -hmm. that point. You're right. You got a comment, Tom? Mm -hmm. I have a couple of comments. Carl says, it's going to happen to all of us one day. Maybe not that way, but we're all going to meet our maker one day. Yeah. Um, we have a new comment from Nuke Scott. Oh, hey, Nuke. New. New with the city. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe why it's happening now. A lot of people are treating their loved one better now. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say that. Is it a reality check? I think it is. It's the reality. Back to what you said, it's eyes wide open. And yeah, open. it's like an open it because most people want to see death as a bad thing, and I'm not trying to say it's a good thing. I don't necessarily view things as good and bad. I just accept things as they come. Absolutely. Uh, to be honest, but um, you can you can learn to embrace it. Like what I was telling Kiana, I was like, even though my sister's death was a difficult time for me, man. I remember some good times surrounding the death, and I'm talking about the Lord because I began to learn the Lord like I've never, mm -hmm. I've never, because it's one thing for you to say that you believe God, mm -hmm. but it's, or you believe that he can do something for you, but it's a whole nother ball game when he actually does it for you. So I learned to trust God in a whole nother way. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer um, has a comment also says, I do think Kobe's death the Kobe factor woke up a lot of people to make them understand that nobody has a set amount of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They might live today. Time's life. life <laughs> but a fleeting shadow here today, gone tomorrow. How many can say they will be ready today if Jesus came? Singing, I pray we all be ready. <laughs> That's her comment. <laughs> it's a and it also says, and it also says, in, eyes when it's all going <coughs> well, it's and an eye opener or a permanent eye opener for the ones that he intended it for it to be a permanent eye opener for because it goes back to Nipsey Hussle. Um, I remember uh, when Nipsey Hussle, being that he was also a public figure, you know, it was kind of tragic, kind of the same type of tragedy that occurred with Nipsey Hussle as it occurred with. Um, Kobe Bryant and these other people, you know what I'm saying? So, why you quiet, Julie? I'm listening. Sure. She ain't but go ahead. <laughs> so, it definitely shook a lot of people when he died, and I'm sure that there's still certain people that the Lord intended for them to actually be shook in a certain way to do what was needed to be done, such as love on their family and, you know, do the necessary things and, you know, um, live life as if it's your last day here on this earth, as he has told us to do. Live every day as it's, as if it's your last day, you know. I think everything's intentional. Everything. I think it's an intentional Absolutely. because um, I think he allows certain things. Um, it's sort of like, I, I go back, like we'll never think about God unless God put his unless he puts himself on on our minds mm -hmm. and that could be with anything not to be like this was supposed to be a god's conversation today but um unless certain things are placed on your mind you would never think about them so i look at it like that it's, of course it's a it's a, it's a self-check especially if it's somebody that you really love or mm -hmm. someone so popular mm -hmm. and it happened because it was a real tragic mm -hmm. death so when you look at it like you're like god damn boy anybody can go like at any given mm -hmm. time and you're like dang man i gotta check myself am i mm -hmm. and you know it's sort of like what jennifer said will you be ready to go today i mean you gotta be thinking like that some people don't be thinking about it. are they gonna make it to heaven or are they gonna go to hell you know what i'm saying but people still 
may be checking themselves like, I don't think I got everything done that I want to get done while I'm yet here on this earth. So yeah, it gives you something to think about, you know what I'm saying, with death right there in your face. Even though you know it's going to come one day when it hits real close or it's very broadly broadcasted, yeah, yeah, I think it makes you think. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people like mend their families or apologize on Facebook to somebody they was mad at or that they love. So I think it did a lot as far as even if they don't think about it later on, at least that relationship, whatever was hurting, mm -hmm. is fixed now because they're scared that they might lose mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Right. I agree. It, it took, it affected the situation that needed to be affected at that time. Mm -hmm. It definitely was necessary for that moment. Yeah. Whatever that moment would have been or may have been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that your finger telling us that you got a comment on? So used to looking at top signs, but you know, and also because like people to take like because uh, people keep saying you know like the other people are not getting recognized, other people's death are not getting recognized because there was someone who was so famous, like they're getting overshadowed. You know, and I was having a conversation with someone else when I told them they was like you know everybody keep asking like what's the topic, what the topic going to be, and it was like it's so unfair that the people don't even get recognized. And I don't know their names to be honest with you. I I don't know their names. <laughs> Hell, I'm no Kobe. <laughs> you know, I know he was a basketball player. That's what they got out there. Kobe Bryant all over the place. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it is. You know what I'm saying? They, their names may not be known, but they got someone who's deeply hurt. And just like Kobe's Kobe Bryant wife is is hurt. And so it is kind of a little, a little ragged for them to just kind of go, uh, you know, just throw them under the bus a little Kobe bit. Kobe and others. <laughs> But is it really? Because if Kobe and his daughter wasn't on the helicopter, we they probably wouldn't have talked about it at all. Absolutely. So they still wouldn't have been talked about as the way I feel. Yes, really. they got recognized in some kind of way, I guess you're trying to this say. This is more recognition than what they would have got. Yeah, because like, I guess Kobe Dang, I'm just saying, like, you made a good point. That's hard. It'd have been like a regular story on the news. Right. Mm -hmm. Somebody else playing crash up there. We ain't talking about that. At we don't all. Know none of them 50 people who was on the plane, you know. Yeah. Dang, when y'all talk about me, on SWP got a little bit of, a little bit of clout. <laughs> <laughs> I just play. Y'all ain't got to talk about me. Because I don't live around I'm talking about like, <laughs> Ain't nobody going to stop me from talking about <laughs> And that's for darn sure. Yeah, so does it make you think about, like, what's your purpose? <laughs> I, don't <know> <laughs> I don't know if this situation made me think about what's my purpose. I think lately I've just been thinking about that in general. So I don't think for me this situation hasn't because I take family serious in general. So I try to make sure I talk to family. Um... And lately, I've been trying to do what it is that I want to do or that I have passion for and be consistent. So for this, it was a reality check for, like, damn, that happened. And it can be so sudden. But as far as me working on what I want to do, no, it didn't impact me because I was already trying to do yeah. that. But it makes me try to go harder so that I do have something that is something to happen. So it, I guess it pushed me a little bit harder. Yeah. But... Um, I already really take family and friendships serious, so I make sure I talk to my friends. I make sure that my family know. And that's from experience because I had a cousin that died, yeah. and I was mad at him. And he lived in Buffalo, and I kept saying, I'm going to talk to him when I go home. I'm talk to him when I go home. Mm -hmm. He tried to reach out, but I ain't got nothing to say to you. I'm going to talk to him when I get home, and he died. I never got mm -hmm. to see him. I never got to, to talk to him. And yeah. He reached out. And so from that, that changed me. So Absolutely. So that's, that's why for me now, family is so important and keep in touch now. So I'm glad, not glad that that happened, but I'm sure he did that for yeah. other people. Absolutely. Can you life. imagine, I don't mean to there you go. Can you imagine like, and I'm going back to Coleman Bryant and like the um, other <laughs> passengers, <laughs> um, you know, saying um, goodbye, you know, to their loved ones are saying like I'll right see back. you later mm -hmm. we'll be right back or <clears throat> taking this helicopter over here for a minute we'll be back and that was it like that's just like you know me saying when I leave here by the time I'll see you tomorrow mm -hmm. it happens every day it happens every I, day. I, I know <laughs> I'm just saying just, I mean it's so it's so devastating though that's why it's 
it's like that's why that seems so unfair because people people be quick to be like, dang, I was just talking to yeah, them. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> it's like yeah. they had to be talking to somebody. I mean, because they technically were just living that too long ago. But I get it. Yeah. They talk about the finality of it. You know, it's just like the, the finality. Yeah, mentality. Yeah. Just like yeah. Mm -hmm. I think more. Um, yeah. What she said to us before she died. She said she went to the hospital. Tamika. Oh, I'm on my way to the hospital. Oh yeah, <laughs> she I said y'all pray for me. That's the last night she said to us. I think I something more. I'm sorry, more devastating than that is the conversation that was had once they realized mm. right. this was it. The pilot done everything he's done. It's barely out of control. Too, what is Kobe saying to his, his thirteen daughter. year old child? Her, he's her, holding her, her and hugging right. her and and. But I was just saying that was. I was just thinking about that today too, as I was preparing for the show. I was like, like, how do you, what do you moment. say to your child? You know what I'm saying? As the the, the plane going down, because you know you can't protect them, mm -hmm. and that's what you look mm -hmm. to your dad as a protector. You yeah. like, daddy, what you know? Right. And what you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, that's yeah, that's sad. Yeah, it's so crazy because we just got back. We just got back on the flight and I. I don't, I don't know if people think about that while they on the plane, but I mean, I wouldn't necessarily think about that, but I was thinking about if this plane go down. When I was looking out the window, I was like, dang, man, if this plane go down right now, it's like, what do you do? Do you hold on to a plane that's going down? <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to make a joke, joke of it, but right. at the end of the day, I was on the plane talking about me. Right. <laughs> I'm like, what do you hold on? I mean, what do you do? Like, you hold on. That Keisha was just saying, like, I ain't finna waste my last couple of seconds trying to call the family and be like, oh, I love y'all. I'm out of here. I'm on my way down. Like, bro, I'm trying to make sure I'm about to. Right. Lord, take oh, me now. Right. <laughs> like, take me to be quick. Ground. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're going to claim that you knew it was going to crash. You want to call? Right, no, think about that phone. I don't see myself. If I pick up a phone and I was about down the plane, I would well, you, you have to think me. about what's going on on the plane and then the person who's hearing you on the other end. Like, if you're a calm person that might be able to have a rational conversation, that might be cool, but they might not be, or the people in the background mm -hmm. may not be. I myself, I know I'd be having a fit. I could not call my I wouldn't even do them like that to hear me dying like that. So on the other end, you like have to just, just think control. if it, the whole situation, you know, people yelling on that plane, you can mm -hmm. probably hit. I, I wouldn't do it. I know. I just think about the. Um, you think you call somebody? I don't know. I think I would. <laughs> I do. I if, it was, if it was going to crash, I would be like, how they were texting the parents. <laughs> and the post well, like, I, think it's different. I think it's different because different. they were in that area for so long. You know, well, well, for whatever amount of time it was in that little area. I think if I had some time like that, then yeah. I, I would like, even on 9 they up there in the air for quite, quite some, some time. time. Situation. You don't know if you're going to live or die in that situation. But you, the, the plane is actively going down. Yeah. You might make it on the bottom, but chances are you are not. I think I will. I know I will be panicking, so I couldn't make that phone call. Yeah. But if you I can make that phone call, text. then girl, <laughs> <laughs> you go yeah, ahead. I don't think I'd be able to either. My mind would be all scattered everywhere. I, yeah, I ain't gonna be able to. Who I'm calling? Like, <laughs> <right? laughs> I guess I'm calm in a lot of situations. Well, y'all see, I'm, I'm always real laid back. I've been in situations that I do. Right. <laughs> few car accidents <laughs> but i was always chill i wasn't you know panic i just i've always been chill so you'll probably make a phone call so i would i think i would just because i know how i am and my biggest thing was that like my uncle was like a huge part like we was close you to that make sure you family, say goodbye and i didn't get to say goodbye and he final. couldn't so i think i would make a point so that my mom knows that i yeah. said i think goodbye. That, um, Everybody I'm with, no, I love them. I ain't got to keep telling y'all. Yeah. <laughs> they knew. I mean, but that's somebody that you make a meal with or something like that, then maybe you do need to do that. No. I think because that's how you live. You live like the how they say you live today as though this is your last. Not saying that you make sure you get up just, you know, I'm going to tell you mm -hmm. I love you just in case it's my last day. But you live that way. They, they'll never die thinking that my mama didn't love me. Right. right. So, and, I, and that's why I was so peaceful with my sister's death. Like, I... I it just is what it is. You know, like, there was no bad blood. There was no nothing. Of course, you want to talk to her again today, but, man, I, I hope every death I have, or, you know, like, come close to me is just that peaceful. Like, you ain't got no brick left unturned. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and and I could be grateful. Uh, I feel that. like that would give my mom peace to hear my voice. Yeah. She said goodbye. I think she'd love her. You think it's going to be peaceful? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I'm be thinking about all that noise, all that ruckus going on in the background. I guess because I'm was always in us. And like I'm very, very protective over her. Mm-hmm. And I would never want her like to not have like have yeah. no last words or whatever. And so I would have to like no matter what I was doing, I would make sure that I called her and just oh, even if she so didn't know what was going on, I would just be like, oh, I love you. I she ain't got no phone call. Yeah, you, 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 <laughs> that, that, she know that love is real. Go ahead. My phone calls be like, listen, the life insurance. Pay- <laughs> Is in the drawer. <laughs> That's what mine would be like because don't nobody really know. So right. Stuff. But uh, there was yeah. a comment there. Yes, there's a couple comments. Um, who is Ari Scott says hi. Hey, oh, hey, baby girl. Hey. <laughs> Carl Simmons again says I pray they soul was right with God. Yeah. Carl also says we not too rich to die. Poor people die, and rich people going to die. Deb does not discriminate. Deb does not repeat. Deb does not discriminate. That's right. <laughs> Um, Tanitra Blake says, hey, hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. <laughs> Carl also says, when I die, I want y'all to talk about me on y'all show. <laughs> I am not rich like Kobe. We got you. Just oh, say Carl Poets die. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Poets what? Carl Poets died. 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 He was watching and she says hi. Died. Yeah, no, he wasn't rich. <laughs> We got you, Carl. <laughs> and he watched the show. <laughs> oh, and he watched the show. And exactly. Like one of our biggest fans just passed. Can we take a moment to say <laughs> And then I'm saying, in, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the words of Carl, Carl poor, poor ass Carl. <laughs> mm. Whatever. We got you, bro. We got you, bro. We got you, Carl. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you can't pay for that. Would you want to... Um, like, would you want to know your expiration date? Like, if you had the opportunity, like, to know. <laughs> and how, like, how you were going to die. And let Julia answer. <laughs> 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 well, I want to know about the expiration date. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Part of me say no, part of me say yes. You find that your expiration date is in three days. What you gonna do? I would, that's why I wouldn't want to know. Yeah, would, what would you do? You knew you was about to go in three days. I wouldn't want to know. Are you afraid of death? No. <laughs> Are you fine? You. The only thing I'm, the only thing that I am afraid of is suffering. If you know, if it's a, like a like a suffering type of death, like I don't want to. Suffer. I want to just be drown. taken out. Like, taken out quick. Slowly. I don't want to suffer. Child, somebody just told me that they're ready to blow up. Like I said, who says they? <laughs> I just want. I wanted oh, wow. this to be quick, and I know this wasn't like a whole depth topic. <laughs> we kind of took it there, but yeah, they like about that. Like an explosion or something. Like that. I said, why? Wow. An like, explosion? They obviously wanted it to be quick, but yeah, like, that don't mean that's gonna be quick. But it, it, I. I would want to die that way. I I, I don't care how I'm going. Oh, I guess if I had to, I definitely wouldn't want to drown. But personally, I would not. She don't want to burn. Twice. I don't care <laughs> burn how I go. Just get me out of here quickly. <laughs> That's like saying I don't want to burn twice. You want to blow up and then then. I ain't gonna say no name. They say blow them up. Just say. Just blow them up. Bro. Nuke Scott says no. <laughs> You'll think about that every day. Won't be able to actually right. live. If you knew your expiration date. If you knew your expiration date was in three days, right. of course. But if you knew your expiration date was 20, 2016. Yeah, then you're going to try to do everything you can do and then try to, to, try to wait till the last minute to make it right. You're going to try to change. change. Yeah, you're going to die in a car accident on December 2nd, 19. Oh, so you're going to be dead five of that. I'm not getting no car. I'm not riding the car that year, that day, that hour. Everywhere. Everywhere. You're going to be trying to change. Trying to change. Yeah. You're going to be trying to change. 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 You're going to be trying to
Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's I mean, it's but that they but they pretty much yeah, I mean that's the closest you gonna get to nigga you finna die. All them people are dead bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. Now they show no they did holding you like <laughs> you, know, you you know, holding you hostage with a gun, I mean, you pretty much think it's finna be your final time. Now you you might make it out. I mean But you didn't know thank you finna go. Right. Yeah. yeah. Beforehand. Either. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I, I would want to know. And I agree, though. You'll be definitely around here. You'll be final destination, nigga. You said I'm Try driving the car. Everything in the parade. Hey, that definitely takes place. I'm doing everything. You're yeah. down the plane. I ain't getting on that damn plane. Yeah, I might want to listen. Because that day that Lord told me to get in that driver's seat. Ten minutes. Get in that driver's seat. Lock the doors. I was not listening. Well, I'm glad I'm still here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't even hear what you said. I was going to actually repeat it, but I'm going to say just listen. You'll know what he's telling you. Because that situation that we was in when the gun was pulled, and the Lord said, lock your doors, Keisha. I ain't locked the door. No, actually, I did lock the doors. And he said, get in the driver's seat so I can get in the car to pull off. I ain't never get in. I just was looking around like, who talking to me? Who talking to me? But I never got in the driver's seat. But I might have been the one to survive, and the other person might not have been if I would have gotten in the car, in the driver's seat, and left. I never did. But we both lived, so... Who knows? Yeah. It's yeah. always a, a, a come to come close to death. You ever had a come close to death? I don't know. I had a near death experience. Yeah. Say it again, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> come close to death. <laughs> you <got> that one. <laughs> She actually made two comments back to what Tony was saying. Says you knew what my auntie meant <laughs> when you were saying the near death experience. Oh. <laughs> she also says, "How do y'all right. think having a near death experience changes how you live after that?" How do you think it changes your life after that? Right. I think it's pretty much like what we've been talking about the whole time, as far as to um, it being an eye opener. It's definitely a reality check because. Um, 
I don't even really know if I, <clears throat> I gained too much from that. I didn't. I don't think I really gained too much from that. But um, I do know that I deal with, you know, um, I deal with life different than what I used to as far as like, you know, making sure um, like what Tanya was kind of saying earlier, leaving no stones unturned as far as like always making sure, you know, people know that I love them. Um, so when I do go, you know what I'm saying? It's, there was love, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got some good things to say about <laughs> Hopefully. Y'all got some good things to say about So hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so, but I don't think that experience in itself, you know, um, did anything to me. It didn't it's because it me. wasn't a traumatic experience. Yeah, it wasn't really traumatic, so I'm I don't think it really sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to take a nap. I'm taking a nap. I'm yeah. in a car accident. It made me feel like I'm a few. Um, <laughs> Hey Julie, what you been doing? <laughs> you, 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 are you driving? Are you driving? What did you do? It wasn't me driving all the time. Mm -hmm. I see that meme when it was about I've been in a few car accidents and I end up in the what is it? The Lord keeping the, me here. No, we were trying to hear you. <laughs> I felt that. The whole, I, felt that. I really felt that because that was my thought. I was like, I'm here for a reason. I, I understand that you keep protecting me, and I'm here, and I want to do whatever you want me to do. That's stupid. And I seen that meme. I was like, damn. Any final thoughts from you? Um, time to touch. You don't even to <laughs> Cut her off. 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 Finished, Julie. Finished, Julie. Okay. She was finished. I was, she was, I was done. She was finished. <laughs> okay. Oh my she gosh. Was, no, it was the point was that I was going to make. I don't forget the darn point. I really. Okay, I quit. That is so rude. <laughs> she was chilling. She was saying. She was saying. Let me go back to the tape. <laughs> she was talking about the accidents, all the accidents right. that so she, she had. She had been, been into. Yeah. And I, she was going to now she was about to say something. No, you was talking about the accidents and Keisha cut you off. I didn't, I was just laughing. What, Natasha, the one who skipped them? I didn't skip her. I waited till she was finished. Right, right, right. So I mean, all of your accidents, did you change your life? Oh, yeah, I'm good. That's what you was getting ready to talk about. The fact I that did. I said it made me feel like I had a purpose. Like I was here for a reason. So that's oh, why okay. I was saying, like, <laughs> I'm going to do what I want to do. Right. And then she was like, wrap it up. Just bring, yeah, it, just bring it back to your attention. <laughs> Tell me you have final thoughts. I got to try to give a final thought and before I answer my, after I answer my niece question. Okay. I'm, so I don't know if it necessarily changed, but definitely this change turned to events as far as the surrounding the, the uh, Kobe's death and the other members that was on the um, the plane. That hasn't necessarily changed, but I live my life that, like that every day. Like I hold myself accountable. Um, is the reason why y'all jokers gonna have something good to say about me. Like, I ain't gonna be up here talking about y'all might have something good to say. All y'all gonna have something good to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I real deal mean that. No, but at the end of the day, you, I, I, I check myself. Like, I treat people like I want to be treated. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, when they say live your life like it's your last, that's definitely me. So, a final thought for me, I think pretty much would be a summary. Like, you, we can all be going today. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, treat everybody like you want to be treated. That way, you, you ain't got to be worried about. <laughs> Look at the ball humbug back there, <laughs> the Grinch back there. So that way, you ain't really, you know, you got to die unpeaceful. Don't go to bed with um unresolved issues. How about that? <laughs> Your goodness. <laughs> Don't go to bed with unresolved issues. Julia. Oh, Yana. <laughs> <laughs> Well, final thoughts. Okay. Again, death does not discriminate. As Tanya mentioned, live every day as if it's your last day. Um, just make sure you not know. Not in fear. <laughs> yeah, not in fear. You know what I'm saying? But genuinely, purposefully. Like, okay, no God, I don't even know why I said it. Like, with a purpose. Spoken with a purpose. Sincerely, you know, um, unconsciously, you know what I'm saying? Just treat people the way you want to be treated. It's, 
and and uh, make sure you you know let people know you love them or at least express yourself, you know, in love, you know. So people would know that you love them. Right, actually. But Jack should speak for you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we do want to thank Julia for coming on the show today. Thanks, Julia. Hey. You she ain't drink. I just asked all the nurses to be whispered. I was like, you all like this? Wait, my final thought is I'm going to go now. <laughs> That's good. Go, Julia. Um, go, Julia. Too late for no, it's to um, live in the moment. Um, like when you're with your family, be with your family. Mm -hmm. like, you know, every, instead of everybody being at the table and being on their phones and mm -hmm. just stay, take your time and have real time, have real conversations. Because mm -hmm. then you can't be sad when somebody dies because you talk to them. Yeah. You ain't miss no moments with them. Yeah. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Mm -hmm. That's good. I agree. I agree. Live in the moment. I believe that. Live in the moment. I, I try to make this world a better place than what it was when it. I left you it. For everybody. Love everybody. Smile. Don't be angry. Love. Stuff fall off your back like water's off a duck bag. You know? All right, ladies. That's a wrap. All right, we are here. Julia, you want to tell them where they can follow you at? Because uh, she do got stuff going on. Yeah, she can follow me at introducing underscore maze M A Z E, and um, follow me for some events that's mm -hmm. going on. What kind that's of cool. events, Julia? Really? Everybody Somebody don't know. know. Everybody, yeah. <coughs> you know her. She said okay. some events. Okay, okay. What kind of events, Julia? I do spoken word and poetry, mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. guys can come out to my shows and follow me, and um, yeah. <laughs> She's a poet. She's Rewind. an excellent poet too. I'm not even. I, maybe I, I don't know. I want my second be slam, one. guys. <laughs> she can do the next. That's what it does. Yeah, I, 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 I might not be the best, best person to say whether she good or bad because that was my first time really going to like a poet show, but I thought that she was excellent. I, and I did. I'm too. just saying, you, you know. Yeah, yeah. And who going to check me, boo? Right. <laughs> <laughs> she did, very, she very did an good. excellent yeah. job, so definitely go support her. Uh, and also, guys, don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms. Of course, y'all already know y'all on our business page that is Spoken With Purpose. We have another page on Facebook where we can actually um, get a little bit more intimate with you guys and kind of communicate with you. That one is Spoken W Purpose. We are on Instagram at Spoken With Purpose, the number three. And then, of course, we're on all of the other platforms. We have Anchor. We got Apple Podcasts, Radio, okay, all of that. So make sure you go and uh, check us out on that. And then, of course, our YouTube page, we are Spoken With Purpose podcast did i miss anything nope you got it all yeah, engage so. with us follow us uh share like comment we want to talk um also you know if you have any uh topic suggestions I want to be a guest host or a guest. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a good yes. offer because we actually looking for some guest it. hosts. So if y'all want to do some guest hosting, definitely hit us up. And don't be talking about you want to be a guest host. Knowing darn well, you don't know how to talk. And you ain't no good communicationist. So don't, don't do it. 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 Come back next year to try again. Some of you gonna start calling some of them out, inviting them to stuff they post. Oh, you heard them. I ain't hear that. So start calling y'all jokers out, out based upon some of the stuff that you guys are posting on the page. I, I think that's a pretty good idea. But SWP do have a lot coming you guys away, so definitely, definitely stay tuned in and on board. Like we gonna go. Tell me, we, we don't go. go. And we don't go. <laughs> Literally, y'all gonna see us in different settings. Yeah, they gonna come a to lot. one of the shows and catch us live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So season two, season two is mm, on it popping, popping. But we out of here because time's been wrapped us up. So we about to go. See you later. See you later. Bye. bye. <laughs>